said they weren't the brightest in their class. But it wasn't the brightest or the best degrees. It wasn't the most connected, as far as connected like family-wise, for instance. It wasn't the ones who had the best funding. But the ones in the program that succeeded the most were the ones that learned very quickly to build an entrepreneurial community around them. They're the ones connecting with each other, sharing resources, realizing that in most cases, if you don't have resources, you have to be resourceful. And most of us have dreams way bigger than our own capacity. In order to succeed and achieve our dreams, we need other people, and they need us. So especially in times where things are challenging, that's when we need to leverage up our relationships. So a big part is get out there and get active, both through the Board of Trade, through various communities you're involved in, and my thing on the web. Now some people say, well, I don't have time to do that Facebook thing because there's no rent return on investment immediately. Or I don't have time to do a Board of Trade event because I went, I met, I met three people, none of them gave me business, I'm not going back. Things like the Board of Trade and even online networking, social networking, are really about investing in our reputation. They're really about taking the fear of saying yes because you're referable. If you're a member of the board and I've seen you nine or ten times, and someone asks you about, uh, asks me about your business, there's a good chance because I've met you several times, I'll be more likely to endorse you than just somebody else I've had a copy with who I don't need to associate with. So as we look at this, there's many ways we get a return on investment. Uh, Fiona Douglas Cranston and I wrote an article, it's on the Board of Trade website, I won't go through the whole thing. But in my opinion, when we look at putting together strategies and network and engage, connectedness, in my opinion, is really how we win. Because we've got to realize we can't just be looking at dollars and cents. There's many returns on investment. So I'm just going to roll through a few very service level. Number one, differentiation. Many of us sell products that are a lot like other people's. So the differentiator is the relationship, who we are. And by connecting with people in person and online, we create a differentiation. Reputation and trust building, as we've seen these stats, the more people get to meet us, the more they trust. Five to 12 contacts to convert a competitor's client. The opportunity here is to build relationship and trust. Corporate capacity building, getting your team on yourself to meet other people who have contrary views to ourselves, only going to expand our context and our understanding of business. Brand association, PR, and exposure. To a large degree, and this is a great quote, especially online, Jeremiah Ao Yang, who's uh, the, basically the chief social media strategist for Forrester Research, says that you don't own your brand anymore. The customer owns your brand. Their conversations online and offline about who you are are much more powerful than any of advertising you can buy. So to a large degree, it's about getting involved in the conversation. If we're present at Board of Trade events, if we're present online and having these dialogues, we're proactively getting involved in the conversation and helping the branding of our organization. Business intelligence. I, I sat on the Small Business Council before I got on the communications or the, and the marketing committee. And uh, you know, one of the biggest values for me was the business intelligence. As we discussed government initiatives and things that were going on at the board level that were printed in the newspaper two months later. This was great insight. Also, business intelligence will be gained through online tools, we'll talk about it in a minute. Long-term revenue, of course. I mean, my first year in the Board of Trade actually paid for the next 20 years, so I kind of lucked out. It might not for you, it might take another year or so. But now, long-term for me and many people I've seen in the Board for years, and investing in marketing for years as far as social networking, it really pays. Impact on your business ecosystem as well. When you get involved in your community, and you help other local entrepreneurs. You're stimulating the overall environment you're working in. What can I give to my network online that has value? And the second thing that's really important is, how do I take it offline? So the relationships start online, but if I can take it offline, that's where the magic happens. So there's two tools we utilize. One of them is probably the easiest thing I've ever done, uh, is uh, we call it a tweet up. What is a tweet up? It's a meetup with Twitter people. And uh, I know it sounds bizarre. I felt it was like, wow, I'm actually a geek now. Uh, and I, I, like, it's undeniable. It's on the internet, too. And so, but I just said tweet up at Doolin's, which is a pause also a client of mine. And the first night we did it, we had 20 people, probably 15 of them I've never met in my life. We sat down, we had a pint of beer, we talked about our collective businesses, we shared some, you know, we shared a bit of food, a couple of drinks. And we took those offline connections and made them, you know, our online connections, brought them offline, built strong relationships, and now every connection online is more purposeful. That's the first one. The second one we did is we use a tool called meetup.com. Who's heard of meetup.com? Great tool for 
15 bucks a year, you can register and hold your own meetups and use their tool to organize it. And there's thousands and thousands of people on meetup.com on, on uh, in Vancouver. And you can, you know, if you're like into knitting and whatever else, you can, but I'm into knitting and I'm into painting and I'm also into sales and I'm into technology. And then what it does is it sends you information on those events that meet your needs. It's pretty interesting. And so we did is we had a sales meetup. Our first one was in June. And my goal was to just connect more with people in the marketplace. Wasn't to sell anything, it was for us to share best practices. Fast forward to uh, a week or so ago, and uh, we had 57 people at the brand new Lux Lounge. It was wall to wall networking, connecting. Uh, we were to bring a speaker in for just half an hour for the full evening just to talk about one thing to help people improve their business. But here's the key what it did is it took a lot of these offline or online Facebook and LinkedIn relationships and it pulled them all in there. And we get to meet in person. So this is kind of the glue, in my opinion, is to not say, should I be networking offline or online? The question is, how do I do it with value and integrate with both? And it's going to help us really leverage who we are and create great connections.